which is kind of similar to when you go to a clothing store, you know they have those sensors on the clothes so that if you leave and you try to steal the clothes, the gates go off. Well, we actually have that same sort of stuff on every single one of our books and our movies and our DVD, everything. So basically, it's a little sticker that's inside every single book and the sticker has an antenna in it and RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. So it's really cool is every single sticker in each book actually holds all of this data about the book itself. So the book title, the book author, where it's located in the library, all of this stuff. And then those sensors, those tags, interact with three things in the library. One of them is our checkout machines, which are in here. Let's look at these really fast. Okay. So basically, the way that this works is you scan your library card. Mine is really beat up. And then you log on to your account. And then from these machines, you can either pay your fines or you can uh, check out items. And this is like a sensor area. So in the past, you used to have to scan every single barcode. So if you're checking out like 30 items that would take forever to do, now you can actually just put all of them, like a whole stack of them in this area, and then you'll see it reads the tag and it automatically pulls them up on the screen here and checks them out for you really fast. And so then you finish, ask you want to see, I say no. And then it will log me out. So this is one major way that it interacts with those stickers and the way you can actually see them, um, it's on the disc. You see how this disc looks a little bit different than this one because it has a sticker over it. And this is the, this is the antenna right here, is that silver part. And then um, the DVD case itself actually inside of here, you can't see it, but in, oh there it is. You can kind of see that sticker right inside of there. So there are two different tags on this. So we updated to this technology last year and it took us an entire week. We closed down, it took us an entire week to put stickers on every single item in the library. So it took a long time, but it's worth it because it interacts with this. And the other thing that it does is if you forget to check this out and you try to go outside of the gates here at the front entrance, those will go off. So that's kind of what I was talking about with the clothing store. But the third way that interacts with technology is we're going to actually go over here. When I return this book, it will actually start out on a conveyor belt, and it goes down this conveyor belt, up a little ramp, and it reads the tag. And then based on the data in the tag, you can actually watch in these windows over here. It will sort it into a specific bin on the side. So if you want to watch those windows, I'll return this item. There should be several going on. Here, find So it should be moving. Yeah, that thing is moving. And then once it goes up there, it'll read that tag. If it hasn't already. I might go return another item just for fun. Sometimes it stops if there's not several items on there. Let's see if yeah, there's it Did it stop? Yeah. Okay. But basically, what it'll do is it'll come down here, and let's say it's supposed to go on this bin right here. It has like almost like rubber band sort of things that lift up and slide it down into that specific thing. <laughs> and so that's not necessarily a green feature, but it is, it kind of makes our, our organization a little more sustainable because it makes our staff a lot more efficient. Because in the past, they'd have to take every single book and they'd have to look at the stickers on the book and then put it on the correct cart. But now the technology, here we go, here it's going. <laughs> There we go. Slides into that one over there. So rather than our staff having to read every single sticker, the machine does it for us, and then it's a lot faster from the time that somebody checks it in to when it gets back out on the shelves. It's like Fritz's unionization. How many people have eaten there? I actually haven't done that yet. <laughs> okay. And then there's one last thing I wanted to show you in this checkout area. So 
I told you that, um, you know, we, so what happened when we renovated this building was we moved out of this building and we actually went to a temporary location. There was an old Borders bookstore that's just a couple blocks away. And um, it's a lot smaller, but we moved into, and they had gone out of business. And so we took over that building for about a year, year and a half, and then we moved back over here. But when we left the first time, we knew that they were going to excavate everything inside. And so we invited people in the community to come in and literally write on the walls with Sharpies their kind of goodbyes to the library. So what's cool is they wrote on a lot of the columns that are still standing. And so a lot of them, those words are still wrapped behind the wood in a lot of areas. And some of them, like on these fins here, they were painted over, but most of them are still wrapped behind the wood. And so we thought, well, we really loved the things that people said about the library. And so we took a lot of those quotes and we actually put them on these two columns here. And so these things that are on here are exactly what people wrote on the walls of the library, which is really cool. <laughs> It's really nice for presentations. We've got a lot of community. 